Okay, students, one thing about adding with a square root. You have to add square roots that are the same. Now, what if you run into a situation where square roots aren't the same? Well, you can usually be in a situation where you can simplify a larger square root. When I simplify, I need to change a larger square root. In this case, I'm looking at the square root of 12. I can simplify that by breaking this up into two totally different square roots. So, the first thing I would do is I'm going to rewrite the square root of 12 into 3, and I'm going to use a dot here to show my multiplication. 3 times the square root, I'm going to put two empty square roots here. One, my first square root is going to be rational, and if it's rational, that means I can find the square root and have a whole number. In this case, I know that 4 times 3 is 12, and I know that 4 is a perfect square, so I'm going to put that first. That's rational. Now, I'm going to put 3 into my second square root for a few reasons. One, 4 times 3 is 12. That way I could break up the square root of 12 into the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. Secondly, I have to realize that I'm not going to be able to simplify this into one nice, clean, whole number. But I can, I can simplify this to a point to where the square root, the value of that square root will be a lot lower. So, I wrote this up into the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. That makes sense because after I simplify the square root of 4, I'll be able to add this square root of 3 to this square root of 3. But first, let me write everything out. Times 2, I'm sorry, plus 2 times the square root of 3. In my next step, I'm going to simplify the square root of 4. So I'm going to keep that multiplication sign. And the square root of 4 is 2. Not the square root of 2, just 2. Square roots are a one-time command. Once you use them, you're done. The square root of 3 stays the same, plus 2 times the square root of 3. In my next step, I can multiply. I have 3 times 2 is 6. Square root of 3 is not going to change. Plus 2 times the square root of 3. Now that the square roots are the same, now I can add. I have 6 square roots of 3, and I have 2 more square roots of 3. Now I have 8 square roots of 3. And I have 6... Whoa. There we go. Now I have 8 square roots of 3. Now I've successfully added 2 square roots that weren't the same in the beginning, but I was able to change them so that the square roots were same, so I could add in the end.